This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about blood sugar and dementia. Uh, the he your hemoglobin A1C test is your most important test. If you don't know what it is, here's what hemoglobin A1C is. It's the percent of hemoglobin molecules with a glucose attached to them. When you go to the ice cream store and get four scoops of delicious chocolate ice cream, your blood sugar goes quite high for a couple hours. But that's just for a couple hours. Blood sugar is sticky. It sticks to everything. Your brain, your blood vessels, your joints, your heart, your liver, your kidneys. And it's quite destructive because it's so chemically reactive it sets off immune responses. We can measure when it sticks to your blood because we can draw your blood and get a sample of it. That makes it easy. Now red cells live around 100 days so it's useful to when you get a blood sample your hemoglobin A1c reflects what your average blood sugar was over the last 100 days. Simple idea. What your blood sugar was over the last 100 days. Now we define diabetes as a blood sugar of about 126. That ends up with a hemoglobin A1c of about 6.4. Do we want to settle for 6.4 when we talk about our most precious organ, our brains? Well, that's what this study published in the New England, Jour in New England Journal is all about. Dr. Crane in the changes, it's called the Adult Changes in Thought Study, looked at some 2,067 people of whom some 500 plus ended up getting dementia. Uh, they were average age like 76, so they were elderly, and measuring their blood sugar and following them over that time. What they found was, if you compare a blood sugar of 115, that's less than 124, to 100, you get some 18% less dementia. If you compare 115 to 95, you get 32% less dementia. 95 is a hemoglobin A1c probably in the range of about 5.5 or 5.4. So what hemoglobin A1c do you want? I want a 5.2. I have diabetic genes. My father diabetes, has diabetes. So for me, this is very important. So when I put on a little bit of weight, my hemoglobin A1c goes to 5.9 at the drop of a hat. So I'm currently doing the fast mimicking diet just to lower my own A1C. You should too. What will work for me? Hmm. I'm aiming for an A1C of 5.2 and I'm aiming for everybody I know to know about what hemoglobin A1C is. It's your most important blood test. And we all need to figure out how to change our diet and our lifestyle and our weight and whatever it takes to get your blood sugar lower. This is Dr. Whit Dr. John Whitcomb. Thank you for watching News and Nutrition, Your Blood Sugar and Dementia.